Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Dev Repair video. In today's video, we'll be uh, working on a MSI workstation WS65. Uh, this uh, this unit has the has 32 gigabytes of RAM, an eighth generation uh, Intel i9 core, uh, 512 gigabytes of uh, SSD storage, and an NVIDIA Quadro P3200. Uh, today we'll be opening it up and looking inside. Just get started, flipping it over, and opening it up. And we can pop it open. This one you don't actually need to pry it. Uh, you can if you can't really get under it, but it should just come right off. There's your uh, bottom plate gone, and here's the inside. All right, so you'll notice inside uh, we do have this plastic cover here, so uh, we're just gonna take it right off. Normally it is adhered on, although as I said, this was worked this was worked on before. Um, so it looks like that. Uh, that adhesive is already broken, so I'm just going to put this off to the side. And um, as always, first things first, we can disconnect the battery. On here, on this model, it's right here. We can just there. We are. So normally, of course, you'd unscrew the battery uh, before taking it out, but of course, this one didn't have to. Put it off to the side and see what's left. So you might notice that uh, that this uh, laptop inside is a bit uh, sort of different than uh, than most. There's no big heatsink here. It's actually kind of uh, sort of upside down relative to most uh, to most common laptop designs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. Is connecting all these ribbon cables to touch the motherboard uh, just so we can get that flipped over or just so we can get it uh, taken out and, uh, and uh, flip it over and uh, get a more common view of the motherboard here. There are a number of these ribbon cables you know just connecting the keyboard, the, the, um, the mouse pad and uh, all your other typical connections. We can just take this out. This is the uh, screen connector right there. Just adhered down a bit. And we've got this as well. This is the uh, um, uh, speaker connection, just right here. Just disconnect it already disconnected and there's just a few screws on the motherboard here that we can take out we should be able to start lifting it now there okay. so there is a bit of adhesive right here just holding it down a bit let's just peel it up there we are we can just stick it to the side somewhere should now start coming all the way up and out. And you will just have to lift it 
sort of rue the card, or you can just pop the connectors off and again just lift it straight through. So there is your motherboard removed. Here's a more typical view. Now you, you saw when it was upside down there are uh, there are three fans on this model. That's because it is a um, it is a uh, a workstation, so it does generate quite a bit of heat, and it does have this pretty beefy heat heat sink set up here. And uh, now we can actually see here's the two RAM slots. There are two, which is good. Uh, sort of uncommon on a lot of laptops. Um, it does also have two SSD slots. Uh, one will come pre-installed, and you can just uh, expand it. And you can just expand it with a second card right there. Uh, but for now, let's put this to the side and look at what's left. Okay, so here's what's left of the top case and the display. We still have that disconnected that. Um, so we've got two hinges here. Pretty standard setup right there, right there. Now before we actually disconnect it, just you want to make sure to get these cables free. This is the uh, the, the uh, display cable right there. It's already pretty free. Um, but here we do have the antennas. It is this bit of adhesive covering them. We can just pull it up and them through. There is also these hooks here that will just hold them in place. Just go around them. They're not holding it down too tightly. It's just to kind of keep the cables managed while the laptop is uh, is closed up. There we are. All right, and we can just open it. Close it and let it sort of come apart. All right, so now we have it uh, um, with the motherboard removed and the uh, screws taken out of here. We will just need to remove this uh, plastic bar here. It will just sort of hold the uh, display in. It just clicks off, you can just Pull it up and away. We're just click off, and once it's out, we can remove the display. Be careful with this uh, antenna cable here. You'll see it's going through this hole here. It'll come out as you remove it, but you want to make sure it doesn't tear. Um, Now there's just a few things left. This is just the top case with the motherboard. You'll see up here is the power button, the whole keyboard, and the mouse pad. This actually is a fingerprint sensor right here. Um, it's just all right here. Power button, keyboard, mouse pad. There are still these uh, speakers in here. They can just pop right out. They're adhered in pretty lightly. They just pop right up and out. And before you actually take them off, there's a bit more adhesive holding them in, which we can just remove. There's one. Just lift it up, following along. Make sure you don't get caught by any of these cables. Another bit of adhesive right here, which will just come up. And that is your speaker assembly removed. All right, so on this model, the keyboard is actually uh, fastened with these plastic rivets. So we'll just leave it in for now and uh, remove the other components. Right here, we've got the uh, mouse pad. Um, which 
we can push on the bottom here. All right, so in this model, the keyboard and the mouse pad are uh, right here with these plastic fasteners. Uh, I'm not gonna take off right now. I'm gonna get started on everything else. Right here's the power button. Frame and a little bit of adhesive holding it down. We can just lift right up and off. There it is, all out. And here you have the actual button itself. You can see this is also held in with these plastic fasteners. So we will leave it in there. And instead, take out the stuff we actually can remove. That should be it, except for these ribbon cables, which just come right out. There's one, and this other one is actually adhered. It doesn't take up too much space. We'll just leave it down and get started on the motherboard. All right, so now we can actually start taking everything off of here. We do have an SSD. All right, so here, here we have the motherboard. You can just get started taking out the RAM sticks. It's just typical SODIM laptop RAM. You pull the pins side apart, take them out. This one does have two sticks both out. Here's the SSD, we can take that out now as well. Just a standard M2 NVMe SSD. You unscrew it and pull it out of the slot. There it is. Oops. Pull this adhesive off as well. Now we have this whole heat sink here. As I mentioned, this is a workstation, so it does have a pretty beefy heat sink assembly here, which we can just start unscrewing. That is all three fans out. Now they can just lift up nice and easy, and it's off. what's left is just the motherboard um, all, uh, all clean um, there we are thank you guys for watching uh, leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions uh, just comment them down below and uh, we'd love to help you out uh, with the, uh, the help community um, if you saw any uh, any um, parts or tools in this video that might that you might need for, for repairs you can just click the link below and check us out thank you